you heard this is the new ariana grande it's missing some yeah yeah but uh, she is focusing on herself this is the royalty free ariana grande yep pre-release that's what we're doing today is focusing on ourselves i don't know why i'm wearing sunglasses they were just in my desk and i was like oh <laughs> that's fun Dua Lipa who? We got royalty free Ariana Grande instead. How about that? Anyways, welcome on in everyone. How are you, how are you doing? Why did I ask that so angrily? How are you? How are you doing? <laughs> Tell me the truth. Don't lie. No lying in the chat. Unless you use your government name, then you may lie because, uh, you know, privacy. <laughs> Good, I'm painting my nails. Cool, cool, I will be too. I missed the intro, I'm so sad. Silly match gets. Dental work? I just had dental work. It was way more expensive than I remember. I am holotastic. I'm upset with Susan. <laughs> Just oiled my nails and finished my tea. Who are you, me? <laughs> I'm all right, feeling kind of down. You sound like my aunt when she gets angry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Studying for finals. I turned 35 today, welcome to the club. I'm still 29, so I, I don't know what it's like, but you know, let me know. Your face rash is flaring. Mine's starting again. Great, I'm so excited. <laughs> Mac, Mac is here. I know what Mac is doing today, paying me for information. <laughs> Love the space collection. Begging for a clue, Our yes. Again, another one on behalf of my fellow detectives. Will the Cookies and Graham collection launch be on a Saturday? As you have seen Holo Taco do for the past year at least, maybe two years, we've done this thing where we have like a collection box, or a big moment, let's say, and then a bundle, which we use the weekend to help you as a consumer understand and decide also how much you should weigh 
in terms of like how important it is because uh, it's very important to me that I'm not like every time we launch something like this is it you have to get it now or else you die like I'm not doing that so every other not every other there's exceptions holidays whatever but generally speaking we kind of do this wave so you you can interpret what you will from that what's on your hand it's a glove I don't know, ask Mac. Mac, pay me $5 and I will show you what's under this hand. <laughs> I'm just kidding, they will actually do it. Please stop here. <laughs> it's, I'm naked, I'm naked. And uh, I was just doing a little bit of oil soap because my nails are so angry with me right now. I asked you how you are. My, my nails are mad at me. They've just done too much. So I just did a little bit of soak, but I did do nail art on my thumb. We'll get into it. I know, who, who is she? What? <laughs> What? I'm gonna do nail art live today, I know. <laughs> I'm not feeling well. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> I'm still waiting on my tea, so like I'm not starting until Ben comes back. <laughs> we cannot begin until I have my tea. Hello, black cat, I'm in love with alien infatuation. I would not be mad if you made more of that formula. Thank you for the feedback. I'm taking notes. I just finished filming the behind the scenes loyalty short that will um, go out to loyalty members in the next week or two. And in that you'll see hollow royalty members. So I said loyalty, I meant, nope, it's includes swatchers and royalty. That's why it's called loyalty. Oh my God, hello, what? <laughs> um, but after every major launch, I'll usually do like a behind the scenes of the prototypes for that collection. And those in Hollow Swatcher and Royalty will get that email, so make sure you're signing up to emails. And you'll see in video format some of the options for prototypes that I didn't pick or whatever. And there's always a, there's always different reasons why something didn't go with, I didn't go with something. And it's not just because of the color or the way it looks in two seconds in a short. Sometimes it's formula, sometimes it's something else that looks too similar that we're coming out with later. Um, sometimes like, you know, the whole group just wasn't like, let's not do this, you know what I mean? There's a bunch of different reasons. So I'm telling you this right now as an over-explaining disclaimer, when it's released and I see people saying, why didn't you pick this one? <laughs> Probably for one of those reasons I just stated. There's also other reasons. It has to pass testing and uh, that kind of stuff that I've explained somewhat before. Nice color of hoodie, thanks. It, it matches I need space kind of. Thanks so much for the lotion. Any idea of when we will get mats back? That should be soon. And by soon, I think March. Yeah, that was like the last of many non-nail polish items that we were waiting on. We finally restocked hand cream. We got the display rack back. We got the glass nail file back. Uh, 50 Shades of Grey and Rose Gold Taco are now stocked and ready to stay unless they sell out. Please calm down, don't buy them all. Uh, but our intention is to restock them as long as we can get pigments and supplies. Grays should be no issue, but uh, the rose gold flake is a very specific pigment. Welcome to the members, Menchie Gang members and the mods. And Menchie Gang members, let me tell you right now that your next stream will be not tomorrow, but next Sunday. February 25th, Sunday, February 25th, will be the extra bonus Menchie Gang members stream where I just hang out with y'all for a little bit just to thank you for all your support on this channel and helping me upkeep my monthly charity efforts and all that. So that'll be next Sunday. I will put that on the membership page. So you let me know what you wanna do. Um, you could do so in the Menchie Gang Discord. There's a, a channel just for Menchie Gang in Discord that's kind of a good place to drop things since YouTube doesn't have the same kind of thing. Woohoo! I'm remodeling my room and I need to know how many and when all the future- <laughs> Jesus Christ. You guys get credit for trying. Wow. Will be so I can plan my nail polish shelves accordingly. <laughs> So are you getting custom shelves? Like, okay, here's what I do, and, and not just for nail polish, but for anything. If you don't know how much you're gonna add to it, and you're not sure, 
triple it. <laughs> like, triple the amount of space. Always plan for more because it's so easy to run out of space. I have space. <laughs> I'm talking about space launch. It's just like, you know this has happened to you with something before. Maybe it's uh, space in your kitchen pantry. Maybe you have a lot of tea mugs and you thought one shelf was enough, but then a year later you're like, fuck, I need three shelves for tea. I need to move plates. Plates are garbage now. Plates get banished. You know what I mean? So always triple the space you think you're gonna need for whatever it is <laughs> and for your nail polish. <laughs> Yeah, storage is important. Shoes, fucking shoes, I swear to God. Yeah, we definitely don't have enough storage for shoes. They're just all over the place. In our like little room beside the garage. They're just everywhere. Like if you walk into our garage through the the door that you walk into the, you know what I mean? I just step on my shoes. Like I literally walk on my shoes. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Woo, thank you, Jody. Riddle me this, why does it take longer for Matt Taco to dry? Because it is not a quick drying base. The quick drying base is an ingredient that really only works best in like a straight up clear formula. And the Matte Taco has pigments in it. Just like nail polish color has pigments, the second you add pigments to something, you're gonna kill its quick dryingness in the same way. Now, I know other companies have quick drying nail polish colors, but I think most of you would agree that's like saying two in one shampoo and conditioner. It's not really, it's not quite the same. So matte taco is like nail polish in the sense that it has a pigment in it that makes it matte. Yes, it's not a color. So yeah, it just, it can't be a quick dry product in the same way. Now I'm not, I wonder, like, I actually haven't personally seen this. Someone market a matte top coat as quick dry. I'm sure like one of them, you can probably find one example, but it's uncommon. And if you tested it, I think I would be very surprised if it was as effective as like an actual clear quick dry taco. Do you ever think you'll offer your hand cream as unscented? I had to give mine away because I'm super sensitive to fragrances. Yeah, it does say on our hand cream that it is scented. So if you are s sensitive to fragrances, it's probably not for you. Um, but yeah, that is something I've been looking into, but it's actually quite challenging because even though you want fragrance free, I've learned too much about unscented and fragrance free. They are two different things. Generally, you don't want unscented. You actually want fragrance free because unscented means they can just cover up smells with other ingredients, but it's ultimately like masking it kind of like a, like potpourri in your house, you know, it doesn't actually like take smell. It actually, it just covers smell. So there's a lot of like more chemistry stuff involved that is beyond me just being like, yes, I like this color, <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm looking into it. Simply, we know you like to keep donations to Canada. I, it depends. I think disproportionately, I, I do like to contribute to Canada where I live, um, but yeah. It depends. But a lot of Mench Gang would love if you could donate to Gaza. I will look into support and relief efforts for that at some point. Aaron, my lunch order just came. Shout out to the warehouse. Shout out to the warehouse. Who's at home drinking tea right now. Can't wait to use the new collection tomorrow and do my nails. Woohoo. So I understand not all of you will have your I Need Space collection yet. But, uh, you know, that's what we're going to paint with today. So if you don't have it yet, then you know what to paint when you get it. Just building my own shelves. I promise I'm totally not a detective or anything. Build three times the amount of shelves you were going to build, Travel and Matt. 3x your plans. Could we get foot-scented nail polish? Ben. Thank you for the Ben stops. I love the nail oil pen have gifted it to so many friends. What is on the horizon? What is people, like, what is happening today? Are the detectives conspiring to just endlessly pay me or uh, free member chat me to get me to give up information? What is happening? I'm literally gonna check. <laughs> what is happening? I see you. I see you. 
Remember? You are in my server. What is Ben doing? I can't babysit everyone. Your feet specifically? Ben, guys, I'm not a babysitter. <laughs> you know, I used to be a babysitter and took a babysitting class many years ago, but I'm too old for that shit now. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Ben, come home, where's my tea? I didn't even read the end of this chatters. What is on the horizon for Holotaco nail accessories and innovation and perfection? What is this question? <laughs> perfection, what is on the horizon for you to be perfect? Um, wow, how do you even answer this? I mean, I'm working on a few like cute, small, little not nail polish things. Uh, we're planning out like the holidays now. I mean, we've been planning the holidays, but we're like actually getting into it selections of stuff for the holidays. But I can't tell you because we're way too far and I don't know, like you just never know if something gets pushed. Once they're released, I can tell you, you know, how long it was pushed. Like the nail oil pen was supposed to come out three years before it did. <laughs> but yeah, some things that, that we're working on. I got COVID from Florida too. It's literally Florida's fault but my collection arrives Tuesday. So things are looking up, let's go. Painting your nails can make you feel better. Last Saturday's chaos is seeping into this stream, right? Like what is happening? <laughs> like, you guys woke up and decided to harass me today. <laughs> what are you coming? What are you releasing? Tell me everything. <laughs> Woo, gift to memberships. Thank you, Amy L. Amy served a W, not an L today. Menchie gang, menchie gang, menchie gang, menchie gang. All right. Shall we paint? Today, we're going to do some nail art. Oh no, my hair is in my face. <laughs> Who is she? <laughs> I actually already did nail art yesterday, but I will show you. If you've got, look, 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 who is she? Wait, actually I'm gonna pull if you've received it yet. Let me do this. Have you received? the I need space collection or shades yet. Yes, yes, uh, not yet. And then just do not applicable. Uh, we are good in terms, even though there was, um, okay, so there was like a snowstorm in New Jersey, like a really big one and I guess New Jersey and a lot of the states, you know, they don't have as much snow as, as Canada. So it's more serious when they have to deal with, you know, uh, like trucks and snow removal if they don't normally have to. Um, but yeah, that's what's happened. So it did delay shipping slightly. However, that being said, when the warehouse was back and safe enough to come in, then they're, they've been working, they've been working. So yeah, they've been, I think it's, we're over 50% from launch day shipped out. So that's wonderful. And it is generally speaking an eight to 10 business day turnaround to ship everything out um, when it's a big launch. By big launch, I mean like a collection box or like loyalty sale or like a big holiday moment. You can't control the weather. Ugh, I try, it just doesn't work. It's still snowing in New York. It's very different culturally in uh, some parts of Canada. Obviously not everywhere in Canada is the same, but like we have snowstorms and there's like a foot of snow and like, yeah, everyone still has to go to work. <laughs> you have to shovel yourself out of your driveway, <laughs> you know? I mean, yes, we have snow plows plowing the roads, but um, you know, you're still driving on snow or ice. You just have to be very careful. Uh, most prudent people will have snow tires 
So there's protections in place because we're so used to it. But there, there's I'm I'm very used to snow, and um, simply weather logical. Yes, I'm the weather woman now. Okay, let's take a look. Have you received the I need space collection or shades? Okay, almost 20% of you have them. So if you haven't got them yet, that's okay. Cause then you can, you know, be inspired by what we're doing. I wanted to just follow up on last week's launch and paint with them. People always ask me to do nail art. Well, who do they think I am? Simply nail logical. <laughs> So let's do some nail art with the new I Need Space collection. Welcome to the solo system where you paint your nails by yourself. Okay, just, just me and you. I'm by myself today. We are painting in peace. No one bother me. Today I will be alone by myself painting my nails. Do not talk to me. <laughs> do not touch me. Okay, look what I did. Look at my nails. Look at them. Can you believe it? Does this look familiar too? Hold on, sorry. I'll let you think. Where does this look? Uh, where have you seen this before? Go on, guess. Where have you seen this before? <gasps> what is that? A 2024 nail trend of the year is swirl nails? Oh, we should do those. But this color palette. <laughs> Ban my tea. Thank you. Do you want a cheeseburger later? No. No more cheeseburgers. Thanks, Ben. Mmm. <laughs> okay, that's actually good. Good job for going to the store and picking this up. <laughs> okay, right? Remember that stream? Trending in 2024 is allegedly swirl nails. It was not endorsed by many. Hold on, let, let's see what the endorsement rate, rate was. I think I just classified it under pattern. Yeah. So only two articles had said swirl nails would be trending, but whatever, you know. <laughs> Whoever says it, it's true. That's how it works. <laughs> I like went back to the research. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> um. Tanzo, I just watched Mars one day on the red planet on Disney Plus. Lots of cool photos on abstract nail art inspo using the new I Need Space collection. Awesome. Yes, it's very exciting. I've already seen some nail artists, like people who exclusively do nail art and are incredible, already start to do uh, stuff like Caitlyn nails. Oh my God, so good. So here's what we're gonna do. I've already painted this just to kind of practice and get my, you know, hand used to swirls and understand how to do it. I definitely think there's some improvements to be made and let me explain. So if you look at this, it's a little harder to see on the pastel one, but see how the size of the swirl actually kind of goes in and out. Like it's larger up here and then it narrows and then it gets thicker and then it narrows. And that's what's also happening here. And I think that's why it looks good. Not that it wouldn't look good if it was just a li little more uniform, but I actually think the effect is a little bit more retro and wavy in a good way when you do that thick and narrow. So I need to improve on that. Yeah, it's like calligraphy pens, exactly. So I think I tried to do that, but I didn't do it enough. I think the or bite me stripe shows it a, a little bit more. It's like thicker at this mound and then thins, but that's where I'd like to improve. 
that's the hardest part i know because i just started painting it on and i'm like okay i'll just draw some messes and draw around it and then halfway through i was like oh i'm not really doing the <laughs> the in and out swirl <laughs> so i'm gonna have to figure that out but you know the articles say this this type of nail art is really easy so let's go in with the new i need space collection I'm using all five shades from the new collection. Hold on, I wish my light, it doesn't really like, come on, come on, man. Take the light and put it right here. <laughs> I need a light bar on my ceiling like Susie has, you know what I mean? I need to be a professional lady. So, <laughs> here, if I go like this. No, oh, can I pick up five nail polishes at once? There we go, there we go, don't move. <laughs> I'm using all five shades from the new I Need Space collection. Fuck! Okay, it's not happening. And what I'm gonna do first is a base coat. First we base coat. I will turn up the light for you. When will the mat be available? I'm hoping March. But yes, it's been out of stock for some time. So when it does come back, make sure to grab it because um, with some of these items, it's just this is just how it is in the supply chain land, the land of mystery. <laughs> uh, but hit notify me on the website so that you will get an email exactly when it's back because it probably won't necessarily be with like another launch. It'll just be randomly when we finally get it in. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and base coat first. I'm using Peely Base, and then I will add a smoothing base just because that's kind of my style. And today my, here, I'll, I will fix the lens, there you go. Today my intention is just to kind of hang out and chill and try and do this nail art. Together. I said try, okay? I did it okay enough on my thumb, but no promises. <laughs> because you know, like uh, performance anxiety, you know? It's, it's hard when you're, when there's 1600 people watching you. <laughs> it's not an edited YouTube video anymore. No, I'm just kidding, I don't care. I don't care about any of you. <laughs> I mean, uh, the hardest part, honestly, is painting so the camera can view. And I, there's no way to paint my thumb where the camera can see, so that I just did last night. And while this looks like not an issue, once I go in there with the brush and I like wanna put my face right into my nail, I will block you, I will block you. <laughs> And I also can't bring it up to my face because then you can't see. But maybe I'll just like go like this and you just won't be able to see. <laughs> Most of us are noobs anyways. Okay, let's do a poll. Um, I'm just letting that dry, so. Paint, typing with other hand. What, what are you? Alien, human, 2%. What are you? in terms of your nail art skill abilities. We did this poll in a Holo Taco royalty survey. I don't remember the result off the top of my head, but most people aren't nail artists. Expert advanced. What are you for nail art? That's such a bad question. Expert advanced. I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, be beginner but I do some things. Like you do something, but very beginner. Or like, I have no idea I'm bad. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Let's see. What are you? No. Alien, yes. Human, no. Press X to remain a machine. Robot, yes. I am proud to get polish on the nail. That, you know what? I love that for you. 
<laughs> that's what I like to see. You know, if you're just getting polish on your nail, then you're doing good. That That's great. You know, just give it a few months and then you'll be like, oh, doing all the hollow chocolate combos. <laughs> you'll be like, but look what color this looks like when you put it over this base. I stick to combos, yeah. Combos are way more accessible, which is why I kind of like doing those streams more when we do a lot of pretty combos or ugly combos. Cause it's just so easy to be like, you know, here, what happens when you put this over this color? This is what happens. And then the vast majority of people could accomplish that as long as I ha they have the product and, um, you know, can roughly paint their nails. But that's not, I, that's not nail art, to be clear. We're not talking about that. We're talking about like, this is nail art. And I know each nail art is different depending on whatever. Uh, that's nail art. Even the floating French tip, which is not a French tip, is nail art. But that would be very simple. So if that's all you do, because that's all you can do, and your line isn't perfectly straight, then you're probably a beginner, but I do some things. Or I'm okay if you have a little bit more experience. Okay, let's, um, let's take a look at the results. This looks so, look, I am from Mars. <laughs> Wait till all my nails are done, cause this really looks good too. I look like I could be in that 70s show. Hollow Taco nail tattoos, I can't stamp to save my life, but I don't wanna re, and the stickers don't react with Glossy Taco. I usually put them, I put Glossy Taco on first and then I put the sticker on, to be honest. Um, but yeah. We've looked into some nail art stuff, uh, but honestly, I wasn't, I, I did not love the end result of them. And there was some, some issues there, so I didn't want to release something that wasn't perfect. But that doesn't mean we're not working in the background on some other things. But uh, sometimes things happen, you know? But if something is ever released, I will tell you the story. Okay, what are you for nail art? 7% are expert, okay. 29% <laughs> are okay. 38% are beginner, but they do some things. 26% I have no idea slash I'm bad. Okay, 26%. It's okay. This may not be for you, the, the, the nail art I'm about to do today, but Sometimes just watching people do something that you don't know how to do, you can learn so much from that. You know what I mean? I used to do that with like uh, with like computer program, not computer programming, but like coding, logic coding. Sometimes like like I didn't know I didn't have training in it, but then I'd ask a few questions from a colleague who was coding this column and doing A, B, C, D with it. And I'd be like, oh, okay, can you show me how you did that? And then you just watch them kind of work or have them explain it. And then you're like, oh, okay, I kind of get it. And then maybe you'll remember that the next time you do something. So just watching people do things, even if you can't do it, there's always something little that you can learn or pick up from it. You're like, oh, I didn't know that. Maybe I'll just add that to my brain and I will reconsider it later, you know, where relevant. It's something to aspire to, yep. That's why the model for medical, okay, we got a doctor in the chat. Mod doctor, medical education is see one, do one, just like Grey's Anatomy, right? It's a teaching hospital. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is a teaching stream, holy shit. <laughs> All right, let's end the poll. Christine, why do you sound like Lisa Kudrow? I do. No one's ever told me that before, really? What? Yeah, okay, so take what you learned today and file it away. Maybe come back to it. All right. My Peely base is dry. And now I'm gonna do smoothing base. What you drinking? Tea. It is a um, English breakfast tea latte with oat milk, which is basically a London fog but instead of Earl Grey tea, I get English breakfast because with Earl Grey tea, sometimes there's too much like bergamot, bergamot in English that's kind of rosy and I don't like roses. 
ever. Not as a flower <laughs> and not in my tea. Like it just, you know, I want the, the bold and dark roasted black tea. I really like black, like breakfast tea, English breakfast, uh, breakfast blend, that kind of stuff. Bergamot is citrus, is it? Oh my God, that's embarrassing. Okay, well maybe it's like a bergamot and like rose blend or something. I don't know. But you know how a lot of Earl Grey is, has that to it, right? Okay, someone explain. Is there a barista in the chat? It has like bergamot and rose, I guess. There might be another word for it though. It's like floral, yeah. Yeah, they describe Earl Grey sometimes as like, has floral notes. Like, I don't want flowers in my black tea, <laughs> personally. Bergamo is a citrus, but it def has floral on overtones. Overtones or undertones? I don't know, I'm, I'm in the nail world now. Okay. Yeah, and that's just one of those things. Like some people like, okay, fuck, do we need to do a poll now? You all are distracting me. Do you like bergamo in your tea? Yes. No. And then N A I don't drink tea. Boo. There you go. You answer. I paint. where I stopped the camera. Holy shit, it went back. Okay. You might like Irish breakfast. I love Irish breakfast, English breakfast, all the breakfasts, Melbourne breakfast. Breakfast tea blend is my favorite. I have that shit for dinner. I'll literally drink black tea and it'll be like 5 p.m. And I'll be like, mm, give me an English breakfast. <laughs> what time is it in London? You know, I can have English breakfast at 5 p.m. in Canada. What time is it over there across the pond? What is it like? 10 in the morning. Right, base coat done. All about chai. I also love chai. But I feel like I like chai more when it's mixed with black tea, you know? I will mix my teas together, like Sophia. This is making me want tea. I am a tea fluencer. <laughs> okay, do you like bergamot in your tea? 49%, yes. 25% no, 26% don't drink tea, boo. Okay, interestingly, way more people do like Bergamo. So I'm in the minority who's like, I don't like it. Take it out. <laughs> it's probably like cilantro, you know? It, it, you have to really be okay with it. And there's some people who just maybe don't have, I don't have the Bergamo en enzyme, just like uh, the cilantro enzyme. It just tastes like soap. It's nasty. I hate cilantro. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful Simply Saturday. And uh, I hope your weekend is just chilling. You know, not too much stress, not too much work. Maybe just a little bit of work. But uh, work that, like, you want to do. You know, things that you had to do around your house. That you're like, it makes me feel good just to get this done. You know, and then you can sit down and be like, yes. Mm. Or maybe you're painting your nails. And that's always fun. <laughs> you say cilantro, very Canadian. How else do you say cilantro? Cilantro. That's probably how they say it in Montreal. Cilantro. How? What? That's the Canadian. What am I saying that's Canadian? <laughs> cilantro. Cilantro. Oh, cilantro. Like a salon. 
Oh, you go to your salon and get your cilantro mask on your face. <laughs> See, I, I read things like how the letters I think should sound. Like, so land, like I see a LAN in there, you know what I mean? I see LAN, like a, a LAN, wireless LAN network. <laughs> I don't see salon when I look at that word. I see salon. <laughs> Oh, but if I was French, I would see cilantro. <laughs> Coriander? I think I know how to pronounce that because I've heard it enough. But that's probably not even right. I don't know. <laughs> cilantro. People say it like that? Cilantro? Wow. The way you say it sounded closer to the sound in Spanish. French sounds like Spanish. Well, not always, but a lot closer to that than English. Oregano. It's the state of oregano. How many people are from oregano in the chat? Today is Rush Limbaugh's... I can't pronounce that last name. Dead Day Celebrated? Okay. <laughs> When you say it in French, it's better than when you say it in Canadian. <laughs> I'm not, like, I'm also not French. That's my second language. And I know any people who are Francophone first are, like, cringing right now. They're like, Christine, arrête la, arrête la. <laughs> I'm such an Anglophone. I'm just an Anglo lady. Want to be Frenchy. Okay. Um... Canadian is not a language. Apparently to Americans it is. They're like, you, you say this in Canadian. <laughs> okay, let's paint. I'm taking my nail art toolkit. No, that's not what it is. Nail art brushes. And let me walk you through the steps of like how I choose which brush to use. I know this is the most interesting thing you're gonna learn all week. Oh my God, Sophia's screaming. Why are we screaming? Sophia, that's why you say Raleigh, <laughs> right? <laughs> See, she knows it's Raleigh. Actually, you know where that's probably from? It's from, it's from watching too much trash television like Love Island or Love is Blind, where I, I guess they just have a lot of people from California on those shows. Like, not always, but sometimes. And then it's just like, yeah, Raleigh. Like, oh my god, I'm gonna go on vacay. Like that. That's where it's from. That's how I picked up on that. <laughs> the way I pronounce things is just a, sh a smorgasbord of what I've absorbed over the years in different contexts. Whether it was French school or watching British television in my Canadian house or watching trash American television like in the last 10 years. Anyways. Do you wanna know how I pick the brush? <laughs> so in the Holo Taco nail art brush set, there's five different brushes. To do what we're doing here, I'm just gonna use one brush. And not the detail brush, which is the smallest. I'm actually gonna use the brush one size up because here I wanna be able to do a bit like wider and not have to waste so much time filling in spots with a smaller brush. So I'm using the bigger brush, but also not the striping brush. The striping brush is best for straight or slightly curved lines. But the second you gotta do like, like a giant S, I think people might struggle with it. But if you can do it, you know, good for you. <laughs> but I personally find it a little bit easier to use a slightly shorter brush. So that's this medium kind of brush. So that when I do the kind of S, I still have the flexibility because it's a shorter bristle. So I can return around and it not kind of like hang out on the side. You know what I mean? It not like flare out and then I'm like all of a sudden doing a line by accident to the side. So that's the brush I'm using. And it's a little bit wider. Sorry, I have it on manual. There's more bristles packed in this one, so it's wider than the detail brush. But like I said, I think the detail brush is like too detailed. We're not doing super detailed today. We are not detail oriented today. So 
I'm gonna grab this brush. I'll leave out my detail brush just in case, like I have to fill in some corners, which is fine. watching this on mute so that I don't be disturbed. Is that supposed to be an insult or you mean like you have, you have work to do? <laughs> no offense, Christine. And if I add rain noises for my tinnitus, this would be so good for co-working. Watching me paint, but you don't know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's okay. Nobody wants to learn nail art anymore. And as for simply Sophia in space, that's what it is actually. Sophia, this is for, this is for your name, <laughs> or eggs. It's actually for Tyler Williams. Z -z -z -z. Z -z -z. Do a Valentine's Day collection? No. How about a be alone collection? It's called I Need Space. <laughs> <laughs> Chad is. Chat is spicy today. What is going on? Are these all new people? What's happening? Is YouTube promoting me? Why? Stop it. Susan! <laughs> Take me off of... Please. No, only send this to subscribers. What's going on? Alright. For this nail art... You kind of just have to get started. I thought about doing a base color, but after assessing, doing like the math in my head, you know, color math, like, so here, so let me explain what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Why don't I just explain it? <laughs> Normally when you do a gradient or any nail art and you're using multiple colors, you want to pick probably the shade that's the lightest. So, and coat the whole nail in that just to give yourself a uniform base because the darker shades are easier to put over the lighter base than the other way around. So my first hunch was like, okay, I'll put, I'll probably do alien infatuation just because it's a bit sheerer and lighter. But then if you put something like I'm rover it or, or bite me over this green tinge, these are both jelly bases. You're going to have this kind of running through it. And then it might be a little bit muddier because you're not isolating the colors in the way that I'm intending here, where I have them very clearly like, that's one of the shades, that's another shade, that's another. So I actually do not recommend painting on one of these first and then doing more over top because too many of them have unique formulas <laughs> that have a jelly base, not a not jelly formula, like basic, totally transparent, but they are made with a jelly. So it would take a lot to layer them up to not get that kind of cross color combo effect unintentionally. So my solution is just paint them on the naked nail. And that's what I did on my thumb and that worked. So we're gonna do that. We are painting on the naked nail. We are, we're going in, going nude. Other prep I like to have around me while I'm painting is a yogurt lid. Oh my God, just dusty. Look at this world's first stuff. So just wipe the dust around. It's fine. Clean your room. Don't tell me I'm dirty. You go clean your room. You could also just use your no mess mat instead of a yogurt lid. But because I have my keyboard here, I will put my arms and sleeves into my nail polish because I can't really move this around right now. <laughs> but yeah, you, people use the mat. Chat is dirty. What is happening, guys? I'm trying to teach you a lesson. <laughs> you need to go to your rooms. There's a meat collection? No. Sophia, did you get the new box? Do you have alien infatuation yet? Is she with her cousin? Did you put her near spirit fingers? They're gonna speak telepathically to each other. FYI, the box doesn't look like steak or meat in person. It only looks like a meat box on camera. <laughs> How many times do I need to tell you? This is the surface of Mars, everybody. This is the surface of Mars. I know 
You don't believe me because you haven't been there. <laughs> but you'll have to trust me. Okay. Um, stop distracting me. God. I'm going to start with alien infatuation because I really like her just being in the middle there. Come out, little alien friend. So you don't need to put too much out because it dries up, you know? So just do a little bit at a time, but I like to refresh from the fresh bottle every so often. So I'm gonna take my brush, just give it a little bit of my spit. That's a secret ingredient. And then I run the paint through the brush a few times first so it gets absorbed and you don't get like weird missed spots, blank spots. Now we're gonna be painting every stripe up. Look at the shimmer, wow. Oops, goddamn. We're gonna be painting each stripe up in opacity. So I'm just doing kind of like an outline, kind of like an artist would just draw with pencil first and then later do marker or pen. Okay, ready? Are you ready? I'm gonna move my mic so I can bend over here. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Minchi? So we're painting kind of like a weird S. And really my first stripe here is gonna set Set the tone for all the other colors. So that one I didn't do a full less. I want them all to be different. I don't want every nail to be exactly the same. And in case you're new, hold on, there's a brush in my mouth. In case you're like, what are you trying to do? I'm doing this. We're doing this, but space colors. It's called Swirl Nails. They're t trending in 2024. Don't you know this? Are you selling your spit so we can use that to straighten our brushes? Should I? How much? How much? What's the retail? What's my minimum order quantity? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, I'm gonna do paint this S like the other direction because I don't want them to all be the same. And I'm not gonna make this side as extreme, but then I'm gonna swing back around and do a big one over here. Yeah, so they're all a little different. And right now I'm kind of just doing the outline, so I'm not too worried about the thickness. I'm gonna tweak that next, but just giving myself a baseline S. Yeah, see, they're all a little bit different. That's the goal. I almost never paint straight on naked nails. Like, it, this feels very risky, you know? I'm doing 2024 trends. I'm painting on naked nails. I am taking risks this year. This is Simply an Illogical 2.0. Okay, there we go. One other thing that I won't explain every time, but in between shades or once I've painted enough with one color, you, you should be continuously kind of wiping it off and rinsing it gently with acetone just so you don't like clunk up your brush or contaminate with another color. So I'll show you what that looks like and actually how I do that for the 26 or 8% who are like, I'm bad. But I, I, you want to absorb something? I'll give you something to absorb. Absorb this acetone, bitch. <laughs> okay. Take your nail polish remover or acetone. I prefer acetone, cosmetic grade, not industrial, do not be confused. Um, acetone is much more effective at cleaning a brush. There's also such a thing as nail art brush cleaner, but we're not gonna go there. <laughs> you can still use cosmetic grade acetone. And this is kind of cheating 
but I just go like this. I know, don't tell anyone, but I don't swirl it around. I just dip it in acetone and then I put it in between a paper towel. I squish it, I pinch it and then take it off and it's already so clean. And I'll usually do that one more time like this. Boop. And then kind of squiggle just like that. There, and now I'm good to go for if I want it to continue in that color or do the next color. That's the most efficient and effective way to change your nail art brush, to change your nail art brush, <laughs> to get the color off, to get the polish off so you can go ahead with your next color. Just don't spill it anywhere, don't drink it, you know, disclaimers. I can't get my brush in the bottle, why? Oh, cause you have one of those, those squirt bottles. I don't like those for that reason. And I also find that even though they're supposed to be more um, like smarter, because you're supposed to take your cotton pad and push down on the pump, they still like squirt out at the side. And I'm like, listen, I don't want nail polish remover coming out of the side. So I prefer to control it and just like put it in a bottle. I use a dish. Yeah, smarter people, people will use dishes. So you could get a shot glass. Just grab a shot glass. You don't need, like there's nothing any different. Or sometimes I just use the cap, but then I spill. And you could just be doing this. You could just swirl acetone, whatever. Whatever works for you. That's more of a personal workflow thing. But what I wanted to just, you know, let you know was the importance of cleaning off the brush with an acetone product in between changing the colors. It evaporates too quickly in a dish. Yeah, I find it doesn't evaporate as fast when it's a giant jug. This is so relaxing. Keep it up. Okay, here's a suggestion, taco nails. <laughs> okay. I did those once actually for, uh, I think it was for this brush release. I painted one of these tacos on my nail. Yeah, I use old caps. That's smarter, use an old cap. So I'll be doing this in between each color off camera. You just won't see. Okay, now because this collection has some colors that are both dark and light, I wanna make sure that I'm creating enough contrast. So for example, alien infatuation could look good up against any color, but since I have to pick a pattern, I probably wouldn't put it right up against solo mission because solo mission is the other light one. So let's separate those. And I'm just gonna kind of place these in an order that I think creates contrast. So these two I would wanna split up and I could do something like this. That would look good, right? And then the or bite me returns back over to the solo mission. So is that what I did yesterday? Look, this is my, I'm quizzing myself. Let's see, is, is that the exact same thing? This beside this beside, oh no, I flipped waste of space and or bite me, but close enough. Actually, maybe we should put them in the same order, yeah. So that one was here. It's a puzzle, can you solve it? So we've got I'm over it, alien, or bite me, solo. I think I did, I took some liberties at the side. I didn't continue exactly, but whatever. The outsides doesn't really matter. It's like the, the core four, you need to be in the same order. So now I just have this as reference. That's kind of the order that I would paint them in, generally speaking, but also not that many rules other than just make sure you're not putting all the light colors beside each other and all the dark colors beside each other. If you do, then it's more of an artistic decision because you want it to look more like a gradient sort of, of colors, which is also really pretty. Could also look really cool, but that's not what I'm going for here because I want kind of the contrast vibes. Where is Menchi? She's not here. Menchi! Oh, she got abducted by an alien skeleton. Hopefully she'll return from the space soon. Take my child, I will kill you. <laughs> So let's go in with, or bite me. Do your homework or bite me. <laughs> I'm gonna throw her on my dish.
definitely going to try this. Yes, let's go. If you paint anything here today, whether it's this or anything else, make sure you use hashtag paint with simply on socials so I can see, so I can roast you in my next roasting stream. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Should we do that again? That was actually fun. I had fun fake insulting you. <laughs> Ready? This is hard. Now I'm trying to do the weave in and out thing now that I'm on a dark color. Oh. But because we're gonna do two to three coats of each shade and build them up, it does give me a little bit of artistic liberty to fix it, you know, with increasing coats. So let's make this mound thicker, like a polished mountain. skinny mini there and then come back I can't see the other side of my nail can you guys tell me where, if, I, if I got it <laughs> I can't see that side of my nail I couldn't do this nail art it would trigger my anxiety it's not easy but I mean, uh, newspaper magazine writers do think swirls are easy. No, this is hard. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, look guys, it's so easy. If I did it, you can do it. <laughs> it takes patience and it's hard not to, to shake, you know? Like I'm somewhat shaky. If you pay close attention, since I'm not editing anything out, you can see a little bit of shaky shake. But I guess I've been doing this for so many years that I kind of like know and I can like still control it while it's slightly moving. Does that make sense? Especially when you're concentrating on doing something so tiny for so long, like you're gonna have, you're gonna shake. A little bit. Studying your hand, giving your hand a break, lifting your brush up, you know, like there's little things that can kind of help you. Also painting and see how like I'm doing like quick choo 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 and then I'll go back and smooth over. I find that technique also helps if you shake a little bit. If you have a tendency to shake. We are looking good on the first run. I will thicken some of this up, but I'm gonna do it on the next coat. Uh, but this is getting kind of thick right now, so I'm gonna acetone it off. Tone down. And before I continue, women don't pee? No, they don't. I'm not going pee. There's no, uh, there's no bathrooms in this game. And even if there were, we can't use them. Fifty percent of chatters are like, "What?" <laughs> That's okay. We don't need to explain everything. It's just like nail art. Women can take showers, but they can't pee. Actually, some—I don't even think they can take showers. Oh, you don't know they can actually. Yeah, they definitely take showers. I just remembered. Beyond two souls. It's like, oh yeah, they shower all the time actually, twice a day. I was dipping straight out of the bottle last time I did nail art and wondered why I was getting so frustrated. <gasps> Don't do that! But that's a this is a good helpful moment. So you 
Some of you are probably like, why don't you just do this simply? I just find that like annoying and also hard to control how much is on my brush. Whereas doing this, just make sure you're like freshly adding so you're not getting clumpy. It's a lot easier to get exactly what you need and then to quickly go like that if you have too much. So I prefer using a yogurt lid or my mat if I'm not gonna put my arms all over it. All right, last nail since I already did my thumb. Do you think Allure will be proud of me? Imagine I painted this in the, the trending colors that I put together in my meta-analysis short. Or VOD, if you watched that last time. Or stream, if you were here for the whole stream. Do you think they'd be proud? Okay, while I'm on this color, I'm actually just gonna go back and do a second coat of or bite me before I dirty it or so I don't have to switch it up. But just a little clean up. Bacon nails. Oh my god, you guys are just hungry for meat. Okay, where are the vegans? What do the what do vegans think the box looks like? Strawberries? Did y'all know that bacon bits are vegan? They are? I mean, only if they're baconless. What? It's the Red Sea collection? You guys just don't listen to me. Like, I give you a whole mood board. I give you shade names and copy. <laughs> I give you explanations for four hours and you still do not listen. <laughs> I even give you the solar system behind me and point to the planet of Mars. You just see what you wanna see. Okay, see I'm painting that mountain a little higher. There ain't no mountain high, Luke. Okay, I got it in my fingy though. I prefer to clean up as I go or else it just gets nasty. Don't be nasty, okay? That's a very hard task. I don't believe you can do it. Surprise me. Wee! My nails are like, wee! Wee! <laughs> wee! So I think like two coats, since I'm doing it kind of thick, will be sufficient for most of the shades. And then on the third coat, at least speaking from my experience of painting my thumb yesterday, is more just, you know, filling in if there was any gaps or little mistakes. But yeah, 
I mean, you, you can still do nail art with specialty formulas. They're just not really as optimal for it. You know what I mean? Like fuller coverage formulas like some of the richer cremes or like a one coat chrome is really good for nail art. Especially if you're a beginner and you just want to like paint something once and not have to worry about like finessing it multiple times. But you can use specialty stuff. You just kind of have to consider balance in terms of competing formulas, how they're going to layer on each other. Is it going to get too busy and messy? Or you could just like not care like I generally did when I used to put hollow on everything and then the comments would be like, stop adding hollow. You realize you don't have to add hollow to everything. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I did not realize that. Thank you for letting me know. I will now adjust my settings. Where are they now, huh? They're customers now. They're always adding a hollow taco. Kim, finished my glossy taco not long ago and really need a pee. Uh oh. Careful. You need to uh, wait another 10 minutes, okay? Did you paint both hands? Because what I do is I only paint one hand at a time, so I can still always figure out how to pee. Or bite me. I'm gonna clean this brushy. I kind of have to pee too now. Why'd you say that? Oh my god. But see, I have one hand that is dry. This is still from launch day manicure. I have a tiny bit of chipwear. Tipwear, not chipwear. But I'm wearing the same Manny from painted like eight days ago. Actually, nine days ago. I think I did it two days before lunch. Who needs a pee break? Please, no biting? Who's biting in the chat? Why does my moderator have to tell you no biting? What? Who's biting each other? Okay, I'm gonna pee out the tea out. It will be RV really quickly. Run a little ad for Susie. Let me know what ad you get. Oh, from far away, it kind of looks like snakes.
All right, let's do the next color. I'm gonna go to the other side of Alien. Wait, no, I lied. I'm gonna go back in with Alien because now I'm gonna perfect the type of S it should be and give it the appropriate width and thickness so I can continue to do that on the subsequent shade. It's nail polish math, you know? You gotta work in order and use deductive logic. That's not deductive logic, but you know what I mean. I'm basically trying to figure things out in the appropriate order. Because if I go on to the next shade, then I'm gonna kind of ruin what I think the alien one should swerve like. Nail art is math. No, nail art is a science. E equals nail polish squared. Girls love nail science. I literally can't see this side. Oh, there we go. So whatever happened to those like kids toys that I used to review? <laughs> Fuck, what was the name of the, the maker of like those? Nail art is a science. Not Troom Troom. The, the actual like toys that were intended for young, young girls. And it's like, do nail art, now you're smart. Not Nom Noms, but that's different. Project MC Squared, I just remembered. Like, are those still sold in stores or other things like it? Not necessarily that brand. Like, is that what 10 year olds are purchasing or has that market kind of died down? Because it's been replaced by a drunk elephant at Sephora. Let me rephrase my question. Toys tar that used to target or Toys that typically targeted young girls, and it's like, here's how to do your hair and makeup, and it's like, crap, crap makeup, you know what I mean? It's like play makeup. Do, is that still a thing? Do they still sell those? Is that as like big as a thing as it was like 15 years ago? Did Toys R Us shut down? <laughs> do children still play with toys? They, they go to Fortnite and they, have, they go to Fortnite. They go to this place called Fortnite and they drink their Stanley Cups. They are skipping straight to press-ons. I hope they're not using like real glue. They're all gonna get allergies. <laughs> I like watching the dermatologist's review. <laughs> Review children's behavior. And they're like, your child is going to ruin their skin. Here's why. When the layer of the epidermis is disrupted during the healthy cell generation stage, then the blah, 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 blah will happen to them. I don't remember the terms, but... <laughs> I kind of do a little fucky on that one, but that's okay. That's okay. Just in pussy fuck up. Most people are saying that those toys aren't really a thing anymore. 
But I guess that's because they've been substituted by, you know, the existence of phones or social media or devices. So yeah, you don't need fake makeup. You got fake, fake TikTok beauty standards. <laughs> Let's keep going, shall we? Let's paint on. Let's do I'm over it. Next step, I'm over it. There's still a Toys R Us left in Germany, really? You guys have hope. We do not. Look at all the menchie here. Just ignore that. You heard it here. There's still hope in Germany. Who wants to go? Collection and extra goodies just arrived. Woohoo! Wanted to know what kind of rich witchcraft is done to the nail oil. It helps my nails grow faster. That's amazing. Meow me for a cat to give us that feedback. Um, it's pretty simple and not not a secret actually. It's just a mix of really good high quality jojoba oil, which has the same molecular or a molecular structure that allows it to permeate the nail plate effectively, unlike a lot of other random oils around your house. Um, and it has vitamin E and squalane, plant-based squalane, which are just good for hydration. But it's it's mostly the jojoba. You were probably just not using good jojoba before. And now you are. So keep it up. My I Need Space collection was literally just delivered right now. Wow. On a Saturday? Damn. What do I paint with first? Do this, Kim, my therapist nails. This nail art is your therapy. Okay, I'm painting on the other side of the alien. <laughs> There's so much less room on my pinky. Definitely be doing a second coat of I'm over it since that's a bit of a sheerer jelly. And it really does need that like second coat to make it that brilliant, bold, beaming, orangish, glowing shimmer. To the people who've used it yet, were you surprised when you put on the first coat of I'm over it and you're like, wait, what? It's kind of like got a cool jelly base to it. How does that make sense? But then when you paint coat two and three, you're like, what? Now it's hot. The next la excuse me, the next launch is in seven days. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> I don't think I'll be ready. <laughs> Nope, definitely won't be ready. I have not uh, shot the next launch. Oops, but apparently I have seven days. You have seven days. Let's make this guy a larger swirl there because I feel like adding some kind of diversity and how they flare is fun. That one literally looks like an S. <laughs> that one's so S-y. Not S-y, like the nail polish brand, just like S-E, S-ish. Is Essex a country? Looks like space bacon. Okay, you guys need to be vegan or something. Yo, 
meat eaters. See, I'm gonna flare out I'm over it just because it's such a nice anchor shade in the collection or this palette more generally. So I kind of want it to be well represented. I can do a little bit more flaring like my pants used to do. Flare. This looks easy when she does it. It's not easy. It's not easy breezy. It takes a lot of concentration and staring and overanalyzing. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this because I'm getting a little chunk. Just wipe that off. I will say, just as someone who, you know, did nail art for seven years, personally and don't compliment me. This is not, <laughs> this is not fishing, but I'm aware as an artist, my own self-assessment is that I'm not good at like uh, the, the most like traditional artistic talents where someone can draw someone's face, like a portrait or a landscape that looks just like the scenery. I can't draw what is in real life on art. I can't do it but my strengths are more in abstract stuff that's not trying to look like something in real life. So because I kind of knew that and I'm like, I can't draw a face or any detailed object, like a, someone's logo or something, like that's not happening. <laughs> I spent more time doing abstract stuff like gradients or stripes or um, swirls or like, uh, I used to do this weird flower that wasn't really a flower but just because it had like a repeating pattern, I could do that better. And my creativity also started to just pull from there. So what complicated overlapping technique could I use that doesn't involve painting someone's face? <laughs> so talent in art comes in all different forms. But your polar bear was so pretty, right? You can leave it as is with the negative space. That would be so 2023. <laughs> Just kidding. No, I'm filling it in. Okay. Now I'm going in with solo mission. Can you draw me like one of those French girls? Draw you like a French girl would draw you? or draw you to look like a French girl, please confirm. Please clarify. Let's get some solo mission. Hmm. This one is actually hard to freehand with because it has flakes in it. Flakes are not the easiest to paint with. You really have to like <laughs> shove the pieces around. The other shades are more uniform. Even the crushed hollow is like fine to paint with but solo mission is a bit trickier. Just putting that out there. So I'm gonna paint this by or bite me. So on the other side, I can't see, you're gonna have to tell me if I'm filling in the gap. Is that it? I'm gonna have to look at it. <laughs> like I'm gonna have to pull my hand to my face after.
Okay, now I'm getting to the point where I can't really do S's because I just kind of have this top of the pointy mountain, but I don't want it to be pointy, so I'm gonna make sure that it's kind of a rounded polish mountain. And I won't be able to continue in that space anymore. Which means that we're more than 50% done. cannot see <laughs> the 70 vibes 70s vibes unfold slowly yes right i kind of like this you know what's weird when i looked at the palette i don't really get 70s if you just look at them in the bottles but paired with this style i definitely get it and i like it <laughs> i like it more now It's also kind of calming. I don't know. Maybe that's not the right word. It's very like, cool dude. Cool dude. That nail art is so cool, dude. Dude. Hey dude, where's my nail art? <laughs> Said my subscribers. It's giving shag carpet colors. Yeah, I could see that. There's a menchie hair to make it fluffy. Okay, pardon me, I need to paint the very side of my pinky. on or bite me but I'm basically lining now right beside my skin beside my human skin I had a shag rug the color of getting I getting rover it I'm rover it I mean in my basement growing up yeah that sounds about right I had a very yellow house I guess that was just like the 90s like butterscotch hop yellow Like every wall was like yellow, like not even beige. Why? <laughs> Am I alone? <laughs> like they get the walls painted and it'd be like, mm, let's go with like a butterscotch yellow. <laughs> like, okay. But it wasn't just me. I feel like a lot of people in the neighborhood had like creamy yellow, like not pale, pale, but a little bit more saturated. Did your parents like yellow? Not that I'm aware of in particular, just like the design style was a lot of mahogany wood and yellowish walls in the early 2000s and late 90s, I guess. That's more 80s? Well, I wasn't born, so I don't know. I was not yet a baby. house was yellow when we moved in. Oops, that's the wrong brush. Maybe you moved into my house. That's so weird. Oh my god, did you move into my house? So I'm 
kind of like unloading the flakes. Okay, I'm definitely gonna paint my finger on purpose because I have to get it close and now I'm gonna have to go in and clean up on aisle three. Yes, there we go. Grandparents' furniture and wallpaper is yellow, but parents is beige. Well, maybe you're like 10 years younger than me. One of my grandmothers had, all of her walls were like a minty sage green, like every single wall. I'm pretty sure <laughs> she moved in. And they were like, oh, do you wanna pick a paint color? She was like, yes light green and they were like which rooms and she was like all of them and literally the entire house the same color green <laughs> like why that's uncommon right no one paints the entire house one color they just like leave it builders white or whatever or i guess whatever it was before but someone started it someone started it and painted it at some point it's a very interesting choice to paint your entire house hallways all the bedrooms the living room the dining room the the kitchen in the same green, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's very common, is it? What? I've never seen another house like that except for my grandmother's. I feel like, do most people just not paint their house? Cause that that's what I did. <laughs> Once I was old enough to like, have to think about that decision after all the living with roommates and you know it's not really my house i want to paint our house our entire house banana medicine yellow no ben no but like our current house it's all just builders white <laughs> except the only thing we painted was our our bedroom like dark navy because i needed to be dark thank you <laughs> no light either but yeah like my house which was new when we got it. We just didn't paint anything. So just everything is white. The kitchen, well, where there's drywall, everything is white. <laughs> I can't even imagine painting everything the same color, like beige or something. I, I love accent walls though. I don't know how we got here. We went from nail painting to wall painting. But anyways, I love accent walls. <laughs> I just am too lazy, so I didn't do any in this house <laughs> but, but i love the idea of having like mostly white you know just keep the room bright or whatever and then you pick one wall and you paint it like burgundy or like eggplant or something or like a really dark olivey green if that's your vibe accent walls yes and if you change your mind you don't have to redo the entire room it's just like one wall it's all paint related right would you paint your whole house with hollow? No, I know. I I would not paint my house with hollow. Like that's, I'm not that dedicated to that character to paint my personal home with hollow. But if I had a bunch of business expense money and wanted to buy a whole other house just so I could paint it with hollow to not recoup those expenses, <laughs> then yeah, sure. Just tuning in, this is a pretty interesting look. What does it look like? New people who just tuned in, everyone else do not troll. What do you think, what is, what is happening? What is this? What is happening? What is going on here? Next we'll be going in with waste of space. That's me. <laughs> The number of people who like commented, oh my God, a nail polish for me <laughs> in the comments <laughs> when this was posted was very much predicted. I like this name though. What do you think they are? Space bacon, worms, year of the dragon, 70s swirl, nerds candy, modern art, actually very 70s. Most people are saying 70s swirls, so I'll take that. 
Okay, let's uh, add to our palette. I want to paint my car hollow. Do you actually though? Like I, I don't, I'll be honest with you. I do not want a holographic vehicle because then people would see me. They would look at my car and who is driving it. <laughs> also in Canada, or maybe it's just Ontario, there are rules. And I looked into this and I worked in the car industry. You can't just like get a bunch of lights or reflective materials on your car. It is illegal to drive those vehicles on the main road or the road at all. And when I wanted, I was looking into like blue underlighting. Don't ask, don't ask, I had a phase. Anyways, I got it on the inside of my car when I had my grandmother's 95 Subaru. Um, but like, you can't get blue lights anywhere on your car because they they are, um, they're reserved for snow plows in Canada or police, you know, red and blue. So there, there's many strict rules about the types of light color, like the color of your brake lights or your front lights or whatever. You can't change them to whatever color you want. You can't add a bunch of flashy things and you can't have reflective silver chrome or like holographic exterior wraps because it's considered like a dangerous driving hazard for other people. Now there's some like rules, rules that some people bend because they're like, oh, it's a, it's for the trade show and we're just transporting it there. And maybe, I don't know, they get past it. But generally speaking, like you can't, you should not be doing that. <laughs> It's the same in the States. Okay, there you go. So why are you asking me to be illegal? <laughs> You're asking me to commit a crime with my holographic card that I don't have, that I don't want. Respectfully. I love hollow, but just not on my car. Also car wraps cost way too much and then they just kind of peel off like a peely. It's actually really fun, but. The main expense I always was willing to do on my car was tinted windows. <laughs> but even then there's rules. What is it like 40% tint, I think? You can't go darker than a certain amount for it to be considered legal, at least in Canada. Okay, this is the hard part. I gotta basically paint black right beside my cuticle. I fucked up. Oh my God. Wow, I kinda did it. I'm doing, I'm amazing. <laughs> but cops don't care. I guess they're worrying about other things. Or not. But LA also has like 8 million more car shows and, or uh, you know, a culture of cars than Canada because we just have too much snow. <laughs> so like, no one's driving around like a suited up holographic spinning wheels with underglow lighting here. You know, you can't drive it for six months of the year. There's too much snow and nasty shit. Gonna put snow tires on that chrome Ferrari? I don't think so. Yeah, too many low riding cars, exactly. We have too many potholes here. Not, I mean, we also have pot, you know, in the cannabis sense, but we also have potholes like the holes in the road. <laughs> I 
LA has a bunch of posers. What is posing? Like hand posing? What is a poser? That, that used to be an insult that my generation used all the time. And now I never hear it, right? Like, I always thought it meant like you're trying hard to appear like something that you're not. Like, that's the definition, right? Am I mistaken? But what does that mean if everyone is just like of the same same annoying character you know are are they posing or are they just an annoying character whatever it is like who do they think they're posing as someone that pretends to like something to fit in oh but aren't they all just kind of like you know convincing themselves that they like gucci slides because gucci sounds cool so they actually do unironically believe they like the product for the product but like they don't so is that are you still a poser or are you like do you have to be a manipulative liar to qualify as a poser like how fake are you are you like an undercover just like there's like undercover police like participating in like drug busts but they've had to be, be befriend the community for six months like they're actually undercover fully lying about their intentions or are you posing just because like you're not sure but you just want to be what you think is cool i don't know it's just such an interesting question why is ben calling me no what i don't want to see hummus i don't i don't have an answer A very calming sound. I think it would sound like... <laughs> I said I wanted to paint in peace, Ben. All I ask for is peace. And this is what I get. I get hummus. Britannica Dictionary. Definition of poser. A person who dresses or behaves in a deceptive way that is meant to impress other people. I guess I would like to unpack what is a deceptive way because they don't like it. What is deceptive about it? Like, they want to impress people. That I understand. Like, undercover cops want to be friends so they can, like, you know, presumably get the job done and get the intel. But teenagers want to dress like their peers because they want to be their friend for real. Not so they can turn them in <laughs> lighter. <laughs> it's deceptive because it's a lie. But is it, though? Because so many young people in the poser sense, if we're thinking about, like, Young people and posers, the way that the word was used when I was growing up. Like, it wasn't really a lie. Like, you were trying really hard to be cool in your mind, right? So is it deception? They're being fake? Well, do they think they're being fake? Anyways, simply question logical. We just use that word a lot as an insult and I never understood it. I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm not sure that's the word you're looking for. But carry on. Love waste of space in there. It really like switches things up. I'm gonna go back and paint my second coat while I'm here. This nail art effort is not a waste of space nor a poser. I am not being deceptive here. I am, this is not fake, this is real.
Using it as an insult is to say he thinks he's authentic enough to wear those clothes, but we think he's not by our standards. I guess it's like, who gets to decide, you know? Who decides that someone is a poser? I guess using the word posers as an insult or to qualify any other person is just subjective. Huh. I think we just figured it out. I subjectively think that you are trying to be cool like me, <laughs> but it's not working. <laughs> Next time someone tries to insult me, I'm gonna respond, but what exactly do you mean? Oh, that's the best defense. So I've heard this all the time. Like, I think one of the better, but sad, but good examples is when like a man is being creepy as fuck to, you know, oftentimes a young woman. They'll say like a weird thing, like, oh, I'd love to see that, you bend over. Like, whatever, that's just the most, you know, <laughs> stupid one, <laughs> but like that. And then, if it's something that's like not really clear what they're saying, but you kind of know what they're trying to get at, you're like, oh yeah, can you explain that to me? Go on. What would that look like? What do you mean? How would that work? And then watch them scream on the inside. <laughs> then you're like, got him. Now you realize as you continue to open your mouth, that you are a sick fuck. <laughs> or if it's not about that, let's say, let's not go all the way over there, but if it's just something kind of insulting and like weird, you make them realize, uh, oh yeah, I guess I, uh, I'm sounding dumb and now I'm flipping out and I don't know what to say. <laughs> Awkward. Anyways, how's the weather? You know what I mean? Make them sweat. So yeah. There's a technique for you that's not nail art. When someone tries to insult you, or does insult you, just ask them to uh, expand a little bit more. Someone give me an example. Insult me. <laughs> insult me and I'll ask you a question. Do a savage comeback? That's not always as easy. I mean, there are some people very skilled and talented and funny and witty who can think of an insult back really quickly. But um, I mean, if you can do that, that's awesome. But I find that that's just like harder to do, especially if you're caught off guard. Why are you such a dumb dumb? Uh, Why do you use the word twice? Can you explain that to me? Did you mean that that I am dumb two times? Like if I dumb twice? Or is my dumbness dumb? Can you please expand on that sentence and choice of words? <laughs> Should have said that to the 11 year old who called me a dumb dumb. <laughs> Simply's idea of a comeback is to clarify what the insult meant. It honestly works though, cause like no one expects that. And they're just like, oh, you want me to think about what I just said to you? Oh, I just wanted to insult you and not think about consequences. And now you're asking me to reflect on what I just said? What? You you're asking me to do critical thinking? Got him. Okay, we're almost done, swirly swirly. That's so Canadian? No, that's, that's not Canadian. Canadian would be like, 
Okay, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs> Walks away, makes maple taffy, and at the nearest snowbank. Swirls are swirling. They are very swirly. I think I need some minor cleanups, but we can do that after. Canadian would be like apologizing after. Yeah. Apologizing. I am sorry for being so dumb that I got insulted and called and was called a dumb dumb. You know, it's actually my fault. <laughs> I looked away for a bit and they look so good. Whee! Thank you. That is a compliment. Please explain. I'm just kidding. for being so dumb right that's that's what a Canadian would say I'm sorry I'm just dumb because waste of space is the jelly-ish of them all that's the one where like you can kind of it's too transparent so there's some sections I'll do at the next coat, but let me just finish off. I just have a couple few more gaps and tips to cover up there. And then we're ready to blast off. Okay, what am I missing? Let's, let's take a look at this topography map. I need solo mission. Oh yeah, I need solo mission. Should I put solo mission or just skip back to alien? No, I want more green actually. I lied, I'm doing more green. What do you find harder to paint a wavy line or a straight line? Well, straight line can be easy with a striping brush because then you basically just go as quickly as possible. But I guess it also depends on the length of your nails. With short nails and a striping brush, I think it's easier with that tool to make a straight line. I think painting a clean curvy line is actually harder. Revealing that I'm painting alien on my alien skin. Just so I can get it in the pocket there. <laughs> Christine Raquel Rotenberg. Okay, say my government name, would you? Why do Canadians say A? I don't know. I miss that class. Why do Americans. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Why do Americans? <laughs> I don't know why we say it's the same thing as saying huh except less rude a is mostly said in a friendly context 
at the end of a sentence where it's like, what do you think of this, eh? Like, hey, buddy. But it's also kind of similar to saying like, what are we doing tonight, huh? Like, what are we doing, huh? Like, what, huh? Answer me. But I find that's is slightly more rude. Not always, but. And in French, they say hein, like H E I N is how you would spell it. Hein. And that's basically A, but French, I think. Y'all is a great word. I like the word y'all. I do. Have to admit. It feels friendly. Painting my skin again. You know how to get the coolest water... Oh, I read the backwards. You know how to get the coolest looking swirls? Water Murphy. No. Murph. Murphy's mom. 2018. Is that when Murphy was born? Is Murphy a cat? Do you call your cat Murph like an interstellar? You go, Murph. Murph. Eat your food, Murph. Murph. some of the sections that were slightly janky. And don't worry if like some of this looks slightly thick. By the time we put on a second glossy taco, it's all even. So that's always resolved later. Is it more relaxing to watch someone else paint or to paint yourself? I would make a poll, but I'm busy. painting someone else's nails is that relaxing for you it's usually not for me I'm usually annoyed at whoever's nails I'm painting because they usually don't really want to sit there <laughs> most people's nails I painted don't want to sit there you know like like they don't <laughs> it's like then it's like okay is it are you done <laughs> Mega doo doo? Ben, are you seven? Yes. 
Ben has a great point. Oh my God, what is wrong with human humanity? Help us or don't just just end it. <laughs> it's okay. We got TikTok for that. Pardon me, I can't see. <laughs> okay, all right, last color should be, I think I'm over it. What would fill this side? Yeah, I'm over it. Yes, 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 yes. I love that still. How she got that out of what she was reading is so funny. Are you talking about me? DD Mega Doodoo is from a news anchor mishap. Oh. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Christine, I just started the, the dishwasher. If you know what I'm, what does that mean? That it's gonna take three hours to get mugs back? <laughs> Or they'll hear the beeps. I heard the laundry beep. <laughs> I am bad at painting nails, so it's just disappointing. Kylie! Kylie Jenner, it's okay. You know, I will help you. Your sister can't cut a cucumber. You can't paint your own nails. Even though you have like 18 staff members, I think, I think we can help you. Now we already know that you have confidence. So you're you're good in that department, but sometimes if you just use the tools around you that aren't other people, but that that is yourself, then uh, you can make it work. What are you doing after stream if you know what I mean? No Ben, can you explain what you mean? Actually, I'm doing something after stream. My sister's coming over, but could you explain what, what you mean since you offered what you meant without explaining it? Go on. Go on, Ben. The dishwasher? You're running the dishwasher? It's very exciting. He's having a, he already had a hummus party. Ben, are things too wild at your hummus party downstairs? Okay, I'm sorry. I have to paint like this. You cannot see. I cannot paint. See, I'm kind of going like this. I wonder if you checked my history for like most used emote, most used custom simply emote. It would just be the Ben stop emoji. <laughs> I need Apple to introduce options where you can just have your own set of emojis that's easily accessible from the keyboard section that whoever you send to can see it. Right? And not have to like require that everyone install the same keyboard as you. Like that's annoying. Okay, no one's gonna do that. I just, if I send you an emoji, I need someone to see it. Maybe they can't like also send it back unless they add it to, to theirs. That's fine, I understand. But you know, like I'm, I need the Ben Stop emoji on my phone so I can text him appropriately.
Like, I don't need my face as a horse, a cow, a bird, a unicorn, or whatever the fuck you can do now on an iPhone. I just need my emojis. <laughs> Can you do a stream with Jen? We miss her. I would, but it's also like annoying to to ask your family to do things for you and sacrifice their. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She never said that, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to like always be asking her like, can you stream with me? Cause then it's like, fuck, you know? It's a lot of like effort to ask someone who doesn't do this for a living. Whereas like Ben does this for a living, you know? He's retired, but he still does it for a living. But someone like my sister or Ben's brother, like they're they're normal. <laughs> they're normal. We should leave them that way. I'm really rounding out the S's now because I'm over it is actually kind of a good opportunity shade to do that. Bloop. I also think I didn't do a second coat earlier, so I'm doing it now. Also this gap, oh my god, I missed a spot. My nails are so curved. I can't see the other side, like the planets on the other side of the sun. This would take ages, but it's worth it. What do you mean? It's only been two hours and I did four nails because I did one last night. Okay, I need to do a little bit of brush cleanup and skin cleanup. And I missed one more spot. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. A new. Oh, yes. Clean up brush. and nail art that is ready to please others because I am not a poser just like munchy hair on it okay we missed that spot uh, right there what should it be? Mmm, black, actually. It should be black. Another black in the cuticle. Poorly planned. 
moderately executed. Ready? Don't breathe. No! <laughs> no! Okay, 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 wait, 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 wait. I'm actually gonna do this, which is illegal. Don't stab yourself. But that way I kind of like literally dug it out gently. Just in case, you know. Yeah. Yeah. The music knew. Music knows what's up. Okay, okay. Is everything painted? Is everything painted? Did I miss any spots? Let's look up closer before we seal the deal with the glassy taco. Let's get closer and watch. It's gonna like focus on all the mistakes. Oh my God, it's actually good. Oh wait, I did miss a spot right here, right there. That needs to be done, okay. Let's go to the side. That side's done. Cool. Okay, so definitely just, I, I did miss a spot, but we will fix her. Hi, Christine. Hi, Clayton. My wife loves your content. Yesterday I counted her polishes and was amazed how many wonderful colors you have. Thank you. Are you guys painting today? It's painting day, it's Saturday. You have to paint your walls or your nails. One or the other. Okay, we are almost done. I'm gonna use, yeah, waste of space again in the cuticle. I'm just so risky today, oh my God. I'm basically a vlogger. black in the cuticle. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't stain that much because it's a jelly. It's not like one coat black. <laughs> What taco are we using? A glossy one. Definitely glossy. You could try matte, but I wanna stick to shiny. Uh, matte would also show more imperfections in your pattern. Like, that's not easy, allure.com. <laughs> or I don't remember which one of them said that like pattern textured swirls are easy. Just start here. I was like, excuse me, sir? Hello? Who wrote this? Okay, any more 
waste some space touch-ups because I have that on my nails now or on, I mean on my brush and my nails hold on don't mind me doing an analysis I'm pretty satisfied I just need to do a little bit more cuticle cleanup but gloss is forgiving yes for this type of nail art yeah Please forgive me. I'm just cleaning my brush because that'll be the last time I use it. And the proper way to clean your brushes is to first remove all the nail polish. And by brush, I mean nail brush. And I'm just doing the same thing I've been doing in between, oh, hello. I'm doing in between colors, dipping it in acetone, and then kind of going like this. Gently pulling it out, just gently. And then after stream, I won't do it now, but then I would rinse this under water because you don't want to let the acetone continue to eat at the bristles. Over time, acetone and other equivalent chemicals will erode materials. That is what they do. That's why they erode the nail polish. Um, and because, and these are cruelty free, so they're not animal hair. So. You might have other brushes that do different things, but uh, animal hair generally behaves differently than synthetic materials. So with synthetic ones, I do think you have to spend a bit more time doing like care. So washing it with water and then putting nail oil, just a little bit. It doesn't have to be nail oil, honestly. Like it could be any oil, but like pretend I clean this. Yes, I know I'm gross, whatever, it's fine. I have 18 of these, I'll be fine. Pretend I wash this with water and then you just go like that. Literally like there, one drop. And then you would reshape it, which just means, I mean, it's already shaped. And there, you just let it sit. And then it's fresh and nice for the next time. The oil helps keep the brushes supple for the next time you go to use it. Because if I just drowned it in acetone and then put it aside, it might like continue to fray more and get stuck like that. And so it's important to rinse it out just gently with water. You don't need, you don't really need soap. Just water, rinse it out, and then add a little bit of oil. It doesn't have to be nail oil if you don't want to waste your nail oil, but I find it's literally like such an insignificant amount that it's just easier for me to be like, bloop. And there, now it's just suppling up and it's perfect for the next time I go to use it. The oil will evaporate and be gone by the time I use this again. So I'm not that worried about that except I didn't clean it, so. <laughs> and then with this paper towel that I just put a bunch of shit on, um, I would dispose of that. Do I still have tea? It's cold, because I can't put this on my hot plate because it'll go on fire. Thank you, Jess, for the five gifted memberships. Menchie gang, menchie gang, menchie gang. Magic gang. I never rinse it, okay, and does it get damaged over time? Listen, I'll be honest, I don't always rinse my brushes or my cleanup brush, like this guy, I am lazy, but I also am in the fortunate 0.1% to have, to get these for free and whenever I want. <laughs> and I have 17 around my house, <laughs> so, you know, it's a little bit of a different situation. However, if I was purchasing these, I would make sure that, that I would wanna clean them so I can keep it for, keep it better for longer, as you should, you know, to get the most value out of something. However, I totally relate to the like laziness of like, ugh, I don't care about rinsing, whatever. I'm so bad at cleaning my brushes. I hear you and I understand why it's really easy just not to, but if you are if you do care about maintaining the longevity of bristles and making sure everything is supple and not drying out, then 
best practices is to make sure you're cleaning it just just rinse with water honestly between uses of nail polish and after nail polish remover and acetone because acetone is basically like an eroder like it just eats at stuff so okay is everything looking clean tonight are we ready for the glossy taco It's glossy taco time. Yes. Thank you for what the What do you wisdom. think? Oh my god. What too early, too early. Just kidding, nothing happened. It's fine. <laughs> okay, ready? Watch the difference. I'm going to show you up close. How, I mean, you already saw this, but let's just show you again. See how it's very textury? Like you can tell I painted each stripe one by one. They're all kind of at a slightly different layer and a little bit textured more in some areas than others. But now I'm, I'm actually gonna do two coats of glossy taco, but I'm gonna let the first coat dry because that is the best way to make sure that you have a really nice even surface on nail art that did have a little bit of texture. If you're looking for a super smooth, glossy, glassy surface, just like when you are doing um, like hollow glitter, packed hollow glitter nails. So some of our classic hollow glitters, like a rainbow snow, it's so packed with glitter, which builds up and has a texture or else it wouldn't be chunky glitter. And sometimes putting two coats of glossy taco really helps smooth it out. So I'm same, same advice here. Ready? Ooh. See, it looks professional now. are you from because you're out of this world who am I talking to my nails <laughs> so smooth that's me okay I did flood slightly with glossy taco as I normally do because my nails are so curved and I want to make sure the glossy taco goes to the side, especially on this Mars uh, texture landscape. So I'm just going to gently round with my acetone dipped brush. And that's just to take the excess glossy taco off my skin. And you might be like, why? You can't even see it, it's clear, it dries clear. Yeah, but then the nail art will pop off quicker because the glossy top coat is on my skin, which means uh, it can't properly adhere. It can only adhere to polish or your nail plate. And it would latch onto my skin and the polish underneath and then serve to basically become a wedge that pops off easier. So if you're wondering why your nail polish pops off easier, did you paint your skin? Maybe, maybe just a little bit. So you can just take it off your skin by doing what I'm doing. Clean up brush, dipped in nail polish remover or acetone. And just gently lining around your nail. Will the please simply, will the thick brushes be in the top and base coats in the future? They are starting to. Um, I don't think that many people would have noticed yet, but they are starting to be phased in. But it will take some time because we don't want to waste product. But eventually, at some point this year, that is the goal, yes.
that all of our polishes will come standard with a thick brush, but we're starting with top and base coats, so most of the uh, of other older shades that haven't been released in the last year and a half will still have skinny brush just because of existing inventory. We're not gonna throw out nail polish. So there will there is still a lot of product that will have skinny brush for some time. No wasting hollow, please. And no, do not ask me to ask the uh, warehouse to individually go into every bottle and change the brush. Cause that is just, you do that. You, you think of doing that for like hundreds of thousands of bottles. Nope, that's not fair. So that's not happening either. But if you personally prefer one brush over the other, you're still able to purchase, whether it's the skinny or the thick to replace your existing skinny, you can still buy those in brush packs on our website. And sometimes they're in rewards too. But yeah, it'll be a little bit of a changeover period for the next year-ish, a bit less than a year, probably. All right, we're looking good. So I'm also taking my time because I want the first coat to dry and then I'm gonna do the second coat. But, you know, since you can see everything and it'll look the same, let's, let's do a reveal. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Is it out of this world? Top coat on thumb? I painted it yesterday. Psych. And it's top coated. Okay, they look really good. What the heck? -a? I will say the perfectionist in me thinks the thumb looks better because I did it myself yesterday. And I didn't... I guess I can be more precise when I don't have to paint it for a camera. But I know, I'm being picky. They look good, what the heck? -a? Did we do it? Did I do it? Am I on trend now? Squirrel nails were trending. <laughs> and so am I. Is simply trending? I expect alert to add my nails <laughs> to this article. What do you think? Ah. Shut up, Simply. Nailed it! Simply trending? Actually, do not put me on YouTube trending. I'm just delaying before I paint the second coat of top coat, but I do think that's important. See how it's like starting to sink in and see the refraction line or the reflection lines from the light? They're a little bit, just a little bit like this. So that's just from like painting different lines at different, you know, amounts of pressure. But when I put the second coat on, it'll be even glassier and also just thicker. And I like thick nails. Hello, I am the Polish Mountain Lady. So after watching this for the last two hours, do you have any questions about this nail art, nail art in general, how to approach something? Now you match even more with your hoodie, right? We match. It is very retro 70. I like it. Does your wrist hurt? Not really, because I, both wrists are firmly down on the table, which I highly recommend. And I, yes, I see what you mean. I'm still doing this, but I keep the bottom of my hand on the table as I'm painting. So the wrist is actually stable and straight. Where's the hoodie from? It's from Lululemon, probably from a couple years ago. I don't think they have this color right now. Can you redo it? I blinked, <laughs> no, but, I will make probably a highlights or a short out of this, so you can watch later. Do you have easy tutorials for nail art with brushes? 
On the Holo Taco channel where we introduce the brushes, it kind of goes over the five brushes and what, there's, what they're for. So that might help. How long will this typically last for you? As in, when will you change it? So I will be changing the middle finger like tomorrow because I need to do macro swatches for the upcoming stuff, unfortunately, which is so sad. <laughs> it's like mad. Um, so don't be surprised if you see the middle finger is just like a plain color. But if I didn't have that, then I'd probably leave this on for like a full week. And nail polish lasts longer on me because I have very porous nails, meaning they're they're always busy working. And so they, they adhere to nail polish much better than the average person because as you begin to like erode some of the layers of your nail plate over time, your nail is more raw and can latch on better. So if you're new and you're like, my nail polish always peels off, just keep painting. And then you'll watch, it'll stay on better. Like this I've been wearing for nine days and I just have a tiny bit of tip wear. My hands are probably too shaky to ever achieve that look, but great job simply. I hear you guys and like, you know, absolutely you are free to evaluate your own ability to do something. But there's, if you're still curious about something, you could do like a mini version of this, you know? What if you like just did a little S on one side or the tip or something? Not a floating French tip, a floating S French tip. <laughs> just to test or practice on a swatch wheel. One of these, I have these on my Amazon page. They're readily available on Amazon and not that expensive if you buy them in packs. Um, but these are really great to test on and also test combos. You can also just test on a piece of paper. I love seeing you do nail art. Thank you, Francis Baking and Eggs S. That's what my nails say, S. I'll have to try this when the collection arrives. Woohoo! Have a great time with your sister. Thank you. Can you do nail art on short nails? Didn't I do... I made two videos in the Simply Days where I did nail art for short nails and I showed you like a total of 20... Was it 20 different designs in total? Or was it only 10? Five and five, I can't remember. It might have been just five and five. So I have done this before of like nail art for short nails, but the point I always used to have was any nail art style can be adapted for short nails. You just have to maybe reduce the number of stripes or make the, the, the border thinner or, you know, like, like simplify the design that you're going for and you can still make it work for short nails. There's no such thing as nail art only for short nails. It's just optimizing what look you want to do for a shorter canvas. You know, everyone else is just doing marketing. If you do fewer swirls over a creme base, it is more beginner friendly and good practice. Absolutely, yep. If you just like pick your favorite creme, like a pastel creme or something, and then pick a couple opaque colors, um, maybe dark ones so you can see them a bit more clearly. Being able to see what you're doing because of the color contrast clearly is probably more helpful. And doing creme or even linear would be more helpful because the formulas are can ha let you have a cleaner edge. Whereas the flakes in like solo mission was a little bit tricky. I was like, mm -mm -mm, you know. And it's always practice, you know, just practice. And uh, you'll never be perfect. Practice does not make perfect. No such thing. Hello, who lied to you when you were growing up? <laughs> Imagine doing this, but with pastel hollows. <gasps> Someone needs to do that now. Starshot nails. I expect to see that from you. Can I wait a day between painting coats? Example, painting a creme on one day and a top of the next. I would not do that unless you put a glossy taco on your creme. Because if you paint a creme and then you don't do a top coat and you go about your day, you risk getting like little lints or hairs, menchie hairs or little dents in your nails and then you're gonna layer on top of that. You probably don't want that. So if you top coat them and then come back to them the next day, sure, yeah. All right, going in with my final coat of Glossy Taco. Just got my order. Oh my God, deliveries on Saturday. Thank you, delivery drivers. Oops, sorry, I 
little faux cussy. It's one step at a time. That's right. You're not going to be a water marble witch on day one. I'm still not on year eight. But that's because I don't practice, right? I don't practice water marble, so I'm never going to get good at it. And she here. Manny makes me want a BLT. Can you explain what is a BLT? What what does that mean? Is this an acronym? You you want an acronym? You want bacon, lettuce, and tomato. Well, which one do you want? Make up your mind. Is it what is it? Is it bacon, lettuce, or tomato? Second coat of glossy taco to make it super smooth. Smooth out that texture. Bacon later today. Okay, that's more specific. <laughs> okay, there's been like 12 people who's tried to clarify it's the sandwich. Guys, I know it's the sandwich. I'm just fucking with you back. <laughs> but simply, it's the sandwich! <laughs> I feel like I've lost my ability to be sarcastic and people realize I'm being sarcastic. You know what I mean? I used to be hyper sarcastic all the time, like in all my videos and voiceovers. And it was very obvious because I was constantly sarcastic. But I guess on live stream, there's way more like just me talking and not doing sarcasm that when I am sarcastic, people are like, you girl, you no, <laughs> actually. And I'm like, oh. You know, they don't realize what character it is. <laughs> they didn't clue in. They forgot she is simply sarcastic. Okay, I'm done. I'm just still painting. <laughs> That's what happens. Americans don't understand Canadian sarcasm. The accent throws us off. Y'all talk like I have a wild accent. I do not. Okay, it's very close to, I don't know, average American accent, which isn't this. This is not, actually, this is the average American accent. <laughs> Okay, what do you think again? Part two. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Swirly 70s out of this world matches me. Look how good it matches. We match. All right. And, um, oh wait, no, I forgot to do something. I'm just gonna do another glamour shot with the polish ends. Looks great. Any plans for nail art stickers or vinyls? Uh, I think I mentioned that earlier in the stream that um, while I would love to, there's just like been challenges with it and it just not meeting my standards and other standards that you probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but I will not disclose because I'm not trying to say anything about other companies. Um, 
it's complicated like a Facebook relationship status. <laughs> okay, but here. There. Thank you for letting chat be feral today. Oh, I didn't let them. The mods let them. Mods. <laughs> Who's recreating this? Hmm? I dare you. I expect to see this under hashtag payment simply. Which one of you dare recreate this? Let me know if you are. <laughs> You're cooking bacon. Please explain. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what do you mean you're cooking bacon? Isn't bacon already cooked? No, I guess not. I guess you can have raw bacon. It's weird. I'll try to recreate it. I'm busy making a BLT. It won't look like yours. I will when I get mine. I would like to, but I'm not as good as you. Just do like one or two swirlies at the top and you can practice. I'm gonna try a short nail king version. Let's go. Anyways, I hope you love it. Uh, made only using the five shades of the new I Need Space collection. And with that, I will thank you guys for joining me, for hanging out. I don't need to sit as close, but I was like this into my nails. And uh, I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their weekend. Mention Gang will be next Sunday. Do we know when a mat restock is? I don't because I'm waiting on quality and deliveries. Um, just had some delays, supply chain, yada, 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 la, la, la. But uh, I'm hoping by March or in March, later in March, if not early. All right, everyone, big shout out to the mods and the Menchie Gang members. And I need to decide what to do on Wednesday. We'll be gaming, but I don't know what game yet because you probably don't want me to play the space game again because that, whoo, there was too much moon baboon, Y axis, X axis, which way am I going? What planet are we on? So I'll probably pick a new one. But uh, thanks so much for swatching and nail arting with me and I'll see y'all later, bye. Feels like you're looking for something better. Uh huh. Uh huh. Is this what you want now? Or is it because you can't forget her? Uh huh. Uh huh. I can't keep pretending. It's not getting to me. It's never ending.